Hey, hey, hey. I wanted to share with you um, about a new thing that Facebook just rolled out this morning and it's called reactions. It's their new improved way to be able um, to react to posts instead of the traditional like button. You have other emotions that you can more accurately express your reactions now. Uh, the reason why I'm sharing it with you is because it does have to do with your Facebook ads. There's something you need to be aware of when you're running Facebook ads and how to manage this. So the first thing I'll do is just show you um, what this is in case you haven't seen it yet. Basically, um, if you go down your newsfeed, you'll see a little blue like button here um, where it used to just be the, the thumbs up. If you hover over like, it now gives you these options. You can like, love, haha, wow, sad, or angry. So you now have these options to choose from. So when the collective group of people are responding to your ad, it will show right here. As you can see, here's one that I, I hit angry on right? Because acid reflux drugs may cause dementia. That makes me angry, right? <laughs> so I put angry. So you notice that there's like and angry there. So it shows two. Well, how many will it show? Let's find. So you see on my post that I posted about this, it shows three. Okay. So by default, it's going to show three reactions that's as many as it's going to show well how does facebook choose which ones it's going to show um when i first started noticing this i thought it was always going to choose them in order um the like the love and the ha ha as long as somebody chose one of these it would push the other ones out but that's not true if you actually click right here to, to show um, all the people who have interacted on your post, what you will see is it tallies them all up and it gives them a score, basically. So whatever your top three are, that's what's going to show up here on uh, the default screen. Why this is really important to you if you are running Facebook ads is the element of social proof right? So when somebody's scrolling down the newsfeed and they see your ad, you don't want them, you don't want everyone else to see a sad face or an angry face right next to your ad. Because um, the psychological power behind that is, is very, very powerful. Um, something that you cannot even imagine. It's, it, it works with your subconscious and people will see those emotions that other people used and they will automatically feel them even if they weren't before, or they will start to feel like they should feel that way. So number one, what you need to do, you know, I'm always preaching to you guys about checking your negative feedback on your ads this is going to be the same thing you need to check and make sure that angry and sad reactions are not winning on your ads because if they are they're going to be showing up right here and if, if you've got those winning on your ad you only have two options to manage that. You have um, where you can get some of your friends or whoever to go on there and click love or like or ha ha or wow, one of these other ones to, to kick the other ones out of the running. Uh, but that's a lot of work and that's a lot of fabrication um, that, that quite frankly, you don't really have the time to be doing. It's more beneficial for you to actually pay attention and care if people are 
doing the sad or the angry. Um, sure, you're going to have a lot of jerk bags, uh, a lot of schmuck bags out there who do that on purpose because they're trolls or they're competition or whatever. So you just have to judge it for yourself. Um, if if this is like, wow, a lot of people are hitting angry, um, that might be an ad that you need to realize there's something about your ad that's triggering people. Um, either you're using a lot of negative emotions in your ad and you're talking about things that make people angry, which that, that would be okay. Like that example I just showed you about um, the acid reflux drugs were causing people to get dementia. That doesn't mean I'm angry at that ad in my newsfeed, right? That means that, yeah, the, you were trying to stir up anger with your post to begin with. You were already trying to make me angry. So the fact that I showed I was angry, that's a good sign. So always take it in context, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that they're angry about the fact that your ad was in their newsfeed to begin with. If your content was very um, highlighting and pointing out something that should make people upset or something that, that is sad in nature. So look at it in context and make your best judgments for yourself. But I personally would use this as a metric to um, make sure that my ads are relevant to the people in the newsfeed and that people are appreciating them and not hating them, right? Because it's always Facebook's goal is always to keep their users happy. So if your advertising behavior behaviors are making users angry or sad, that's something that you need to change immediately. So I would say to use these little happy faces and sad faces as um, kind of the same exact way that I teach that you should pay attention to your negative feedback. Okay, and have a blast going through your newsfeed and doing all your new reactions that you have to do now. But also, I want you guys to keep a close eye on these um, in your Facebook ads that you're running. Okay, hope that makes sense. Bye-bye.